all-knowing and all-powerful, starting with the elderly wolf uncle chapter 56. The two then left Metropolitan University. Chen Tian took Clark to a relatively remote place, where there were no houses built around, and there were trees everywhere. The silt paths in the forest are overgrown with weeds, and apparently few people come here. What are you taking me to do? Clark looked around at the rarely inhabited clearing around him and asked in a deep voice. Chen Tian looked at him and smiled slightly. There are few people here, and they will not hurt the innocent. Hearsay. Clark on the opposite side had a complicated expression and suddenly clenched his fists. Who is spreading rumors in the comment area? My Chen Tian's ability is superimposed. Recreate rumors, and I will wear it out later to kill you all. Chapter 58. The terrifying power that Chen Tian erupted out, a perfect replica of Dachau. There are few people here, so it will not hurt the innocent. When Chen Tian said this, his tone was gentle with a smile, as if he was telling an unimportant thing. It's just that when these inexplicable words blurted out, the surrounding noisy wind and rustling leaves all came to a standstill. As the winter evening approached, the already chilly temperature seemed to drop again, making people chill. The slanting sun dyed half the sky with clouds, woods, clearings, two teenagers standing opposite each other. Everything and everything has not changed at all, but it is dyed with a sense of slaughter. What do you mean? Clark heard the other party's words, squinted slightly, and his eyes flashed. What did you come to me for? Chen Tian did not choose to answer directly, and asked with an undiminished smile on his face. I want you to apologize for what happened yesterday. Clark wore glasses, and his eyes behind the black frames looked serious. People are dead. Are you going to send me down to apologize to him? The smile on Chen Tian's face was even greater. I have to say that today's Dachau is indeed young, and every word and line reveals a certain simple taste, but it is precisely because of this that he is only sad because of someone else's freak. Chen, you don't realize your mistake at all, you obviously have extraordinary abilities, but you are doing the next three things. It's hard for me to accept such a thing. Clark spoke in a deep voice, looking at the boy in front of him with a smile, his brows furrowed deeper and deeper. He has to admit that his new friend has a beautiful face that no one will disgust when he sees it, especially when he is smiling, he can give people a feeling of trust and trust. It's just that last night was such a person, but when he pinched Jeromey to death, his face did not change color, as if what he was doing was not killing people at all. But doing something as ordinary as shaking the dust off his clothes. Compared to holding grudges or hatred, or kill with other strong negative emotions, like Chen Tian's complete indifference to kill, which makes Clark feel shuddering. You still can't see the truth, there are people who are not worthy of salvation. Chen Tian shook his head, and seemed to have a headache, why don't you figure it out, if I don't kill Jeromey, he will definitely kill more people in the future. Quote. Maybe what I did at that time was indeed to kill people, but the purpose was to save more people. There is an old saying in our East, killing for life, is such a meaning. Maybe you think you should create a world where no one gets hurt, but that only exists in the ideal. You know, this is the reality, Clark, some guys, he just damn finished, he looked up at Clark, and found that the other party's expression was not shaken in the slightest. And the helplessness under his eyes was heavier. Yes, this guy is a stunned young man. However, it is precisely because of this character that it will be implemented after choosing to adhere to absolute justice. But the current situation is not a good thing for Chen Tian, who wants to change Dachau as soon as possible. The other side, Clark really took Chen Tian's heartfelt words as a fallacy and heresy, took a deep breath, and his eyes suddenly became more and more firm. Chen, I treat you as a friend, and I gave you the trust that belongs to me. He looked at Chen Tian seriously, so I won't let my friends fall, I'll take you to the police station to turn yourself in, you're naive, Clark. Chen Tian smiled bitterly when he heard this, how can you be sure that I won't escape again? Saying this, he paused, and his tone was ridiculous, as long as you kill me, you can do it once and for all. I can get you in again, Clark said quietly, hear this. Chen Tian couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. He remembered that in many comic works, Da Chao generally chose to arrest the villain in prison, after all, for him to escape and escape, he can still be easily caught in. Unless, in the face of killing one to save 10,000, Da Chao will choose to kill the killer. That's why he chose to let Luther go. In other words, anyone, standing in his position, will choose to kill Luther. Chen Tian pondered. Clark had already walked up to him. Let's go. I'll take you to the police station. You need to reflect on your mistakes inside. Clark said, already stretched out two big hands to clasp Chen Tian's shoulders, and then exerted his strength zero and his eyes flickered, his pupils contracted, and he showed shock. Since he was a child, he has not come and encountered such a situation. Although he was saddened by being called a freak and ostracized, Clark also had a certain confidence in his own strength. Including for Chen Tian, even though he knew that Chen Tian was also a supernatural with extraordinary strength. But Clark still feels that in terms of strength, the other party will not be his opponent. You're still too weak. Seeing Clark hesitating, Chen Tian raised his eyes and said lightly. It's not that he belittles Da Chao, but it is. In front of Chen Tian now, Clark at this time is still half a chip weaker than the former in terms of strength. Because his abilities are superimposed on each other. Now he has the superpower that belongs to Uncle Wolf, and he has added the power of the great super in front of him. This was also the reason why Clark could not shake Chen Tian. Chen Tian was stronger than him in terms of strength. But... Clark currently has one more point, Chen Tian can't compare for the time being, that is, his unique Krypton bloodline. Chen Tian could clearly feel that the power that Da Chao exerted on his shoulders now was not as good as himself. But the gap between the two is closing at a subtle pace. 
In other words, the superpower that Chen Tian possesses now is yesterday's Clark plus Uncle Wolf. Today's Clark power has grown compared to yesterday. Chen Tian estimated that it would not take long for the other party to have the power to surpass his current self. As long as he shines on the sun, he can always get stronger. Kryptonian bloodline is really terrifying. Chen Tian noticed this, and his eyes finally fluctuated. I don't know if I can copy the bloodline, he thought. One of today's aims is to try it. Impossible. Clark looked at Chen Tian, who was exerted by his own power but was not moved, and the shock in his eyes became more and more intense. While he whispered, he gradually increased the strength of his hand. Chen Tian still didn't move. Clark's eye fluctuations became more and more obvious, and the force increased faster and faster. Rumble. Until the force exerted on Chen Tian's shoulders had reached several tons, which was completely enough to crush ordinary people into meat mud. And the ground under the feet of the two people showed a slight crack, and the land around their feet was affected by the increasing strength. However, Chen Tian was still unmoved, and the whole person was like a sculpture, without the slightest waver. Nothing is impossible. Chen Tian met Clark's astonished gaze and chuckled.